When students first come in, I hear things like, Wow. Amazing. I never knew MIT had a building so beautiful. Oh, the rooms are gorgeous. Are we going to live in this place? I can't believe it. I'm never moving out. It's really amazing. Its design, its beauty make it a flagship. And so I think it really will become a beacon for the quality of student life outside of the classroom. This building was constructed in 1900, opened in 1901. It was called the Riverbank Court Hotel. MIT at the time was in Back Bay in Boston. But then MIT moved across the river, and in the 1930s, this big, beautiful building officially became part of MIT. So this building was built at a period that's typified by building for permanence, by building well, and those values that were appreciated 110 years ago are still appreciated today. And so when I look at this Wastavino tile vault overhead in Massey Hall, I see a voyage of technology from its origins in North Africa, and then brought to the United States by Rafael Guastavino as an immigrant. You know, a good design like this can last for centuries. And I think the fact that after 110 years and a bit of dusting off, it's ready for another century of life is a testament to the skill of the original designers and builders. And uh, we're, we're fortunate to have it as part of MIT. Massey was to help expand the institution to help allow for the enrollment to get back to where it used to be. But also what this building really reflects is an institutional commitment to make a quality living experience for the students who are going to be living here and dining here. Finding a place where you fit in is super important to having a good MIT experience. MIT is stressful. There are times when you just struggle and need someone to talk it out with and Having a community like this is just so helpful for that. So the house isn't simply a dormitory, it's really a place where students can get together with you know, faculty and other interesting people who can tell them something about their experience that would be relevant. The Howard is this incredible dining hall that is the only place on campus to serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. In addition to having healthier dining options, it's also going to do a lot for bringing like, the entire MIT community together. The beauty of the, the dining hall itself just um, encourages people to linger, people to talk with each other. And so what started out as an ideal of how to create a better living community for students has turned into a place that everybody wants to come to and wants to celebrate in. What do I think of Massey? It's amazing. I can't believe I live here. <laughs> when my parents came and dropped me off, they didn't even believe that this was a dorm. They thought it must be a castle. MIT dorms are really unique in that each one has their own feel, their own culture. Massey is new, and so it's kind of up to us to define how Massey's culture will be in the future. Each dorm on campus kind of has their own name for what they call themselves, and Macedonians, obviously fitting since we're Massey Hall. Masseyites? Massylvanians? I think it'll stick. It seems like a, a nice little nickname for us. I mean, I'm cool with Mac Macedonians. The ground floor, they decided to rename themselves to the underground. Of course I'm a member of the underground. I started the underground, and I was just like, ugh, I'm gonna live in the basement, there's gonna be no windows. I go down there and I have like 10 foot ceilings, giant windows. I have a beautiful view all the way from the Prudential Center, pretty much, to Fenway. When I'm studying, I'll just get up and walk around and look at the skyline. It's a really great place to live. <laughs> The study hall idea was an idea to help ease freshmen into their first semester at MIT. There are a lot of resources on campus for tutoring. We wanted to just put it inside people's living environments. It works to form upperclassmen, underclassmen relationships. It really brings the house together. Part of what we're welcoming as we open this new year is a new undergraduate residence. So I encourage you all to uh, Take a chance to peek inside Massey Hall, and as you have an opportunity, come have a meal here. 
My vision is to have a place on campus that anyone would feel welcome. A place where students can come from all sorts of backgrounds and feel like they're a part of the house. That's the kind of dorm that we want to have. Everyone feels like this is a place that we can call home. Massey Hall is important to MIT because it allowed us to grow our undergraduate population. Bringing it up to a level that will allow us to produce a lot more scientists and engineers, which is kind of what the nation needs. It creates this very, very large community where you go around campus, you see the shirt that says Massey Hall, home is where the H is, and you just feel connected to those people because they're part of your dorm. I'm really grateful that people invested the time and the money and the effort into redoing this dorm into what it is today. It's really spectacular that people valued us enough to make this place possible. And I think we won't know the full impact of what Massey Hall really is until years from now. I'll come back and see what my dorm has really turned into. I'm excited to see that.